everybody. This is an unusual episode. We're recording from live inside Rob's Not, Prius. Yes. Uh, in a parking lot outside United Artists Theater in King of uh, well, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. Uh, and can. why are we here, Rob? Out of the, outside movie the theater. Um, momentous occasion. Oh well, the reason why you you guys are here yeah. is because I just graduated college. That's it. Yeah. Hurrah! Nice. And that's it. Somebody give Very me a exciting. job. Somebody, give me Somebody job out there give me a job. So Listen. we're celebrating, and we just got out of the 10 o'clock, 10, it's 10.40 now, we got out of the 7.50 showing oh, of Iron Man. Game. That's right. Yeah. And uh, quick thoughts, everybody. Uh, keep it short, because Matt's battery is going to run out on his laptop. <laughs> Rob, go. All right. Well, I thought the movie was awesome. Um, it might have been overhyped a bit. I'm going to say, because yeah. of what the Rotten Tomato reviews, yeah, yeah. my friends were saying it was the best superhero movie since Batman. Um, I, I'm still kind of up in the air with that. It's it's definitely comparable to the tops, you know, Spider-Man, Batman Begins. Mm -hmm. So um, it's worth seeing, definitely. Cool. Um, it, it's a special effects extravaganza. Which, lots of explosions. <laughs> lots of explosions, <laughs> which good. brings with it both kind of a positive and a negative to that. Sometimes you're yeah. kind of like, well, what is Robert Downey Jr. contributing to this scene if it's just a bunch of Pixar animation yeah. going on? You know? Well, it's industrial light and magic. And I know. Yeah, I was being still, no, no. <laughs> All right, time's up, Matt. Uh, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. definitely a movie heavy on the special effects. Yep. This is John Favreau who directed Elf. Yes. Uh, yeah, and I Swingers. Yeah. yeah. Um, and this is this would be his first foray into action. He did really yeah. well. Um, the pacing of the movie is, is also really good. It good. starts off uh, a little ahead of you know we're like kind of forward in in the events, and uh, we, you know kick away with action and just some some dialogue that lightens the mood, yeah. that kind of thing. Uh, you know it's got it's got heart. Robert Downey Joe literally it has heart, huh? <laughs> Take it down. Oh. Oh. Technologically speaking. Oh. Huh? <laughs> there you go. Uh, no, oh, I, I should say we're also joined by Rob's friend Sarah mm -hmm. and uh, Amber in the back as well. I don't have. So a those time. are the noises. <laughs> <laughs> and Brad's wife. Amber. Yeah, exactly. he doesn't even want to admit it. Uh, so oh. anything else to add, Matt, real quick? Um, uh, you liked it? Gosh, yeah. There's a lot of foreshadowing for a sequel. You mm -hmm. know, it's the plot's pretty simple, and in and, and if you if you learn like movie formula or action film formula. It's all there, you know. Mm -hmm. You kind of see what's coming, but it's still it's well done and it's good and uh, you know, good effects, good sound effects too. Great sound design. Uh, I, we just got out here and I opened the trunk to my car and I'm just like, yeah, that's Iron Man. <laughs> yeah. That's sound effect. Oh, best! I have to say, best last line in a movie I've seen in a while. Yeah. Like I leaned over to Rob and I was like, perfect. And I, I don't want to spoil it, but. Um, really liked Robert Downey Jr., uh, perfect mm. casting. I, I always kind of pictured Tony Stark in the comic book as being very serious and kind of a slower talker, but yeah. Robert Downey Jr. does it, you know, I, I'm able to now kind of like re-picture what, yeah. what I see. I mean, here's a guy who actually has done drugs and has been in that like fast-paced lifestyle mm -hmm. yeah. in real life, and I think he knows how to pull that into his character. Yeah, they only alluded a bit to Tony Stark's uh, struggle with like alcoholism. That'll be the main right. villain in the sequel. <laughs> is, is, yeah, is alcoholism. alcoholism yeah. yeah, but uh, but they, this is kind of bizarrely down to earth for something yeah, so I was kind of say, action. I, I, yeah, I thought they made it really believable for him being in the suit and everything. Well, it's Similar getting to, hot in here. Our, our, <laughs> our windows are going to be fogging up <laughs> pretty soon here and that's not going to look bad. good. <laughs> All right, so uh, If this episode came to you in smell of it, you would stop listening yeah. right now. I have to now. say up front, Amber was worried about recording this in the car because of the fart and burp content. Yeah. Maybe it, and which, well, let's get it started. Yeah. We no, yeah. let's not. We, we let's expectations just a little to Great it. expectations. Uh, she thinks, Matt, that you may be on some kind of drugs right now because <laughs> you got like two hours sleep and oh. I don't know if Way you want to explain. Way to mention this. But, well, you know, we'll get into the science I mean, no, of that this will, let's be real about it. <laughs> this is a sleep-deprived episode of Growing Up Geek. Well, I want to get the ladies' opinion now here on Wait, the movie. Wait, what's your opinion? Did oh, you really I, say? I, yeah, I mean, I really loved it, and uh, for the most part, I do think it was overhyped. I agree with you, Rob. Um, don't don't believe all the hype, but you know, it, it it takes comic books seriously, and it you know him flying around in the suit, it builds it all up so that you believe it in his character and everything. I think is is very well done. I think his character is the best part of the movie. And you guys all know that it it's uh, it's opening uh, gross was like puts it in the top ten of all time. Uh, I heard it was number what? two. Oh, that's, that's, that's number two I, I, best I, I, opening weekend. Wow. Why? Awesome. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> now we opinion. know Amber's opinion. I okay, all right. Well, well Amber. A good okay, my opinion. Yeah. Yes. I really didn't want to see this movie. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, I really, really did not want to see this movie. The commercials made me hate it. <laughs> okay. I was dragged to this movie because of Rob. I watched it for him and it's Rob only. Oh, well, all right, no, man. I did Poor it for graduate. you, Rob. I said it's a nice thing. I did it for you oh, and only oh. you. I would not do you it for You make it Brad. sound so nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, I liked it, okay? I don't understand why it's rated 95% oh. on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh. I think it's a good movie. I think it's okay to watch it. I don't think there's any reason to have to watch it. I don't think. <laughs> I like that. It's okay to watch make... it, says Amber. <laughs> I don't think you're going to miss it's out on the, poster, on the biggest yeah. movie ever. And it really surprises me that okay. it's number two. I think well, it's good. I also want to say, just to your comment, Rob, you said that being the best action, I don't know, comic book movie yeah. mm -hmm. since Batman, you weren't sure about that. Mm -hmm. I don't really know if there were any other comic book movies that have been out that have been that good since Batman. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, so especially, cool. like, Marvel has been struggling against DC. Oh, um, uh, yeah. You mean, like, Superman versus X-Men 3. Exactly. Kind of uh, yeah. Not well, that I mean, Superman really was, you know, yeah, I, I thought it was great, but the general audiences thought yeah. it was a little too light on action and that well, kind of thing. Right. I don't know. In my opinion, Superman, Spider-Man 3, whatever, X-Men 3, mm -hmm. I don't think... I think this is better than those. Hmm. That's my opinion, but oh, wow. I also don't really care. <laughs> fair I enough, fair enough. This. Well, then, in that case, enough. let's get over to Sarah. Yeah. If you... Over to me. Uh -huh. All right. Well, opposed to Amber's uh, opinion, I think that if you don't watch this movie, you should be stoned. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> go rocks. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. No drugs. Um, okay. I, I really... <laughs> um, I, I really like this movie, actually. It was... Uh, I, I'm one for sarcasm, and mm -hmm. the the thing about uh, Downey Jr. was uh, <laughs> he he was very sarcastic, and yet he handled his his role very well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was not dragged kicking and screaming, but <laughs> it was fun. Awesome. I fell asleep three times. <laughs> okay. uh, due to my Jeez. migraine, of course. Oh. I loved it. I fell asleep three times. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Four hours of sleep, kids. why don't we just break down kind of our mall experience for today? Because I felt like it was a very geek-centric mall. Uh, the, the second largest mall in America, last I checked. Um, right. So we we got to see uh, you know a lot of the different things that we normally cover on this show, and I figure we would ask maybe the ladies about their ebook experience. <laughs> oh yes, ebook. Oh, am I right. to say something yeah. Now? Uh, we we went to the it. Sony store, and they had yeah. all these ebooks on display, which I I've personally never seen. I don't think. Head either. I saw it when oh, I was I in Japan. On, on Matt saw it in Japan where all things come from. I saw a kind life. of worse one in at a Borders bookstore, but that, yeah. that was yeah. the slickest looking one so, I've seen at the Sony store. Amber actually surprised me by saying something when we were leaving the store. Do you want to share that? Uh, Just real what quick. Uh, what I said was, if it's cheaper in price, obviously it's going to take a long time for that to happen. But I would like to get one. I think it's a really cool thing to be able to have all your books or a lot of books mm -hmm. on, on one little device and you can read it and it doesn't look like you're looking at a screen. I think that's a really cool idea. Yeah, these, yeah. Use, a, these use a new kind of display that is not backlit. Uh, it uses the light um, bouncing mm -hmm. off of it just like a regular piece of paper yeah. uh, you know and it it's a very slow refresh so that it uses very little battery um, and not having a backlight, it also, you know, doesn't have to drain the battery in that way. Yeah. So, literally, when the battery dies, whatever the last thing on the screen is, is what stays on there. Once right. it once it configures the screen, it, it basically shuts off again until it's used. Yeah, you can only tell whenever you switch images that mm -hmm. it's, like, digital. I know, Sarah, when yeah. you saw it, you were, like... I was kind I of was blown away when you came all. over. It was it was a beautiful thing. It was just it was it was new, and that's it was kind of weird, but, but it was really cool. Like, did you think it was a piece of paper with like actual ink on I it? I really first? did, seriously. And and the way that Amber was showing it off to me, I was I was kind of impressed. I wanted her to sell it to me. <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah. Well, speaking of salespeople, yeah. we we have to mention oh, our visit to the <laughs> Apple Store. Yes, please oh, do. Right. Oh, uh, um, can I say? Ooh. Go ahead. Yeah. I have never seen this many 
salespeople in one store in my life. It was like a, a it was, a it was like a, a three yeah. to one ratio of customers yeah. to representatives, or, or maybe even a two uh, to one. I, I imagined I a ten like to one more. ratio. It felt like I think so much more. As Amber and I moved from the front to the back of the store, <laughs> I think we were asked, and, and, and this is the hilarious part: is we were asked like ten times if we needed help. And the guy that would ask would see the other guy <laughs> ask. Him, Are you kidding me? Yeah. Are you kidding me? I mean, me? We, the store's not that big. You couldn't. It was. It's a straight shot to get to the back. Yeah. yeah. You couldn't walk more than like twenty five feet without bumping into an apple. Like uh, one foot. Really. No, no, like twenty five feet was the entire distance. Yes. And, yes. and there was at least like six guys along the way. And How everything many was well labeled. Well, different colored shirts it's, though, which you're made so, it fun. it's so it's so easy yeah. to be able to find stuff in that store, well, and just... they ask you, "Do you need help finding something?" <laughs> like, no, I don't need help. It's so easy. There are literally yeah. like five products that Apple actually sells. <laughs> yeah. So you walk into the store and you get a pretty general idea of what right. you're buying. Um, How much help do people need? <laughs> I gotta say, if you uh, went Apple to the people, front, uh, Apple users. Uh, 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 there you go. You know what kind of people you are. I think if you went to the front, of the, if you want to kill yourself, go to the front of an <laughs> Apple store and, and shout, "I need help!" And then you, you will be a skeleton. Yeah. You will actually be devoured, right. deboned. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but oh. yeah, so that was the Apple store. We also went to a comic book store, which was pretty cool. That was nice. I got a, and I got a sweet T-shirt. Yes. <laughs> Did what you get two? Did you get two? I got two sweet T-shirts. All right, fine, fine. Yes. I one. remember. Very sweet T-shirt. <laughs> Windows are getting a little foggy in here. Oh, oh it's getting really foggy in here. Somebody, in somebody, somebody please put their hand up against the glass like Titanic. Oh, there don't, we go. don't. Uh, oh. That's gonna look. You're shaking. Really yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Hold me. Um, <laughs> anyway, so let's see. yeah. So you, what T-shirt did you buy again? You... Oh well, I got the Karate Kid one that says "Sweep the Leg" and it just shows mm -hmm. the evil sensei. Yeah. Uh, and then I got a Big Lebowski T-shirt, and that's always good. That is yeah. always good. As long as they don't shrink too much in the wash, I'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, and oh. where else do we go? Everywhere we went around. We went yeah. to Tivana. We Tivana. Went. And Matt bought a number of teas, exotic teas. <laughs> not, not geeky. I'm not very not geeky. geeky. I mean, no, but I'm going to blame Unless you're a tea geek. They, they're they, geeking out over they their tea. They had me try like six different teas in one like 10 minute period. <laughs> it was a little crazy. Yeah. And again, I, I don't know, Matt, do you think that's just the deprivation of sleep? <laughs> uh, I should mention to the audience that there's some kind of, you know, notion that I'm somehow sleep deprived. But that <laughs> is ridiculous. Not <laughs> Ow. We just it. spiked a bit. Yeah, I bet we did, yeah. Ow. Uh, the, you know, the, was, Sony, the Sony book, whatever it's called, yeah, e you know, e come e on. In what five is? years, it's going to be full color. Yeah. Buy it then. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, come on. Well, How sweet will that be? Yeah. be uh, here's some real sweet technology to blow your mind. Amber and I have this bed in our room that... Well, all right, we're okay. done. Show's <laughs> over, folks. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Well, no, it, it adjusts the, the firmness of the you mattress. The oh, it's a sleep number bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's bed. a sleep number bed, and you oh, press geez. the. I, I, okay, this is probably from the 80s, this technology, but I hadn't experienced it yet, and it, it puffs up and, and relaxes you. <laughs> and when I laid in there and, and I watched her deflate, uh -huh. it reminded me. <laughs> okay, I can't actually. That's amazing yeah, technology. Wow. Wow. Uh, you deflate your water. No, no, no. Deflation when I watched the bed. cushion uh -huh. sink in, it reminded me of that scene in The Dark Crystal where the Skeksis Emperor <laughs> dies. kind of oh, dies, blinks, his body you. collapses. Wow. And of course, the classic line oh, of. No, no, I, like I think you're thinking of the mystic <laughs> uh, leader. The Skeksis Emperor crumbled into dirty pieces. Yeah, well, when she did that, I did it, yesterday, it really actually. surprised me. I think yeah. you're thinking of Yoda so when he just simply there you disappears go. Yeah, Yoda. a blanket drop. No, that's the mystic. There you go, folks. Folks, Yoda and the Mystic. Yoda and the Mystic. That's my band. Um, I don't even know how to make sense of this. Uh, free samples. I want to just say about free the mall. Samples. Yeah. It was oh, a free geez. sample extravaganza. Yes. That's we true. went to Tivana to uh, Harry and David. Harry and David. We Harry got and David. some good chocolates. You actually yeah. literally had to be over 18 to have these uh -huh. chocolate <laughs> and samples. They were go good. <laughs> I'd say we got like two minutes of battery reliably before okay. it's going to want to okay, do some can power shutdown. One thing? last thing. Yeah. One yes. last thing. Okay, I'm not saying I hated Iron Man. Oh, uh, <laughs> I well, did talk, really think that uh, Robert Downey Jr. did do a really good job, and I oh. did think it was a good movie. But good. that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so, so that's all. I'm gonna so say. there we go. Something for for boys and for girls in Iron go. Man. I think that's going to wrap it up for this week. Uh, thank you for listening, everybody. Uh, once again, my name is Brad. 
That's Amber. What? Me? Let her do it. <laughs> you do yours. You right. do yours. This is this is staying in. This Say is it. the only I know, part. Exactly. Say it. Say it. <laughs> Say your name. From yeah. Philadelphia. I'm Matt. <laughs> And Rob, where are you coming uh, from? I'm, uh, <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> from high atop. Rob, just do it. I'm the king of Prussia, Pennsylvania. I'm Rob. This wheezing sound is Amber. I'm Amber, Amber and I'm from a sleep number <laughs> Oh, God. And Sarah? I'm Sarah. Goodbye. And goodbye. <laughs>